Oh, hello there. Hi, how are you? How is everybody? That's that's my birds, and I was playing music that they pay attention to. Doesn't sound like much, but it's like seems to be one of the few things they like. Oh, wait. Today is Super Bowl day. All right, so you know, in honor of Super Bowl day, I still have some thing to prepare for before the game, like making dip and stuff like that. So let's go to the kitchen and work on that. All right. All right, I'm going to change the cord. Birdie, say hi. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Huh? Do like what? Can you see Merch? Adobo. Mercy's going to make adobo? Yeah, that's one of the things Mercy's making. Okay. I, let me see what I need to do here. I should probably get like some big book to put it on so you can see everything. Because otherwise I'm going to have to keep moving the camera like that. We're going to I'm going to make dip, and with the different kind of dips, I guess we're going to attempt to put it in there. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's do this here. Okay, does that make a difference? Hey, Pitbull's on TV. Oh, there's got to be a better way to do this. Maybe I just need to move stuff away. There you go. If we do that. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to make some dip. And I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I got together to you know, see the top of my head. Is that better? Okay. So we're going to make dip. It's start now. No, it doesn't start till almost two more hours. What is that? That's like the pre-show. It's Pitbull and some dancers. All right, so I'll show you what I'm going to put into it. But because my son Ben doesn't like all the stuff that I'm going to put into it, I'll have to make a separate dip for him for just the stuff that he likes. So put here everything what you have. All right. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to include some, uh, what is this called? Guacamole. <laughs> I know it's called guacamole. All right. This like, it's not fresh. It's fresh? No, it's Just not. Just got it yesterday. It's old. All right. Including some sour cream. Okay, what else we got? Got some thick and chunky salsa. Wait a minute. Hold on. Why? I'm doing this. Okay. All right, what else do I need? Okay, do this one, but I don't want you to make a mess. Got to have some cheese. And what else? Where's my other stuff? Oh, got extra cheese, just in case. Okay, and more other types of salsa. Uh, no, on the top of the sweet piece. Uh, okay. All right. I'm gonna include gonna include some bean dip. Where's my refried beans? Ah, okay. Refried beans. So I got refried beans and bean dip. That's what I got to cook first, and then I'm gonna put the other stuff on top of it. So all this stuff is gonna go into it. This one you can you will not use this one. Can you find this one? You have to one for it. And this one too. And you don't need it. You have this one. Okay. So we're all right, here's what we're gonna do. Just put it here. You get something to cook this in. Is anybody there? Oh my god, there's people talking. <laughs> All right, Mia Kari, how you doing? I am so sorry, I wasn't even paying attention to you, you guys being there. Okay, hi, how you doing? Hello, Mia. Hello. Hello, Kimmy. Good to see you guys here. Say say hi to each other. Become friends if you aren't already, but I think you are. But okay, so hello. 
to all right you, you know how to do this with the computer how to, how to do the all right because one of the th so we're, we're talking here so one of the things we like to do is you, when you click on that it clicks show and then it'll put that up there so if you want to as anybody's talking and we can continue talking to them you can click show and like that okay kimmy says ha ha you came first mia beat everybody here kimmy says hello david and mercy that's us okay kimmy says shout out to host we are the host wow doesn't happen too often but we're the host me says kimmy oh 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 it's a oh oh means okay right yeah I, I know filipino oh oh hey hey it's okay host all right thank you all right okay i will put this one here well, you put it in one of them but i'm save some of it for uh what i'm gonna put all together all right hey okay uh, yeah, I guess that's big enough. Okay, so make a lot. Got this pot right here. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do. Oh, they're still talking. Oh, wait. Okay. Are never mind. you guys? Yeah, they're so cute. Oh, All thank right. you. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna. Do, Wait, I think I got chili. Too. Nah, I'll skip the chili. This is good enough. Okay, and this one I put it here. I'm sorry. Put cream. some of that in there. I wouldn't. No, save sour cream for what I'm gonna make. I put this one cheese. Yeah, but I'm put put that in my stuff too. Okay, give me a spoon, please. Where's our silverware? Yeah. Where's our metal stuff? Yeah. All right. You guys are so cute. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I'm using a spoon to pop the top on this can here. That's what I'm going to start with. There's got to be a different way to do this where you can see what I'm doing better. Maybe I need to move this farther back. Yeah, like that. Although maybe I need to get rid of the words. Although if I do this, and it, well, I mean, where it, are you guys in you? We're in San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Kim, Hiraka. Uh -uh. You guys are preparing for Super Bowl. We're gonna cook chicken wings and mac and cheese only for tonight. Oh, we're I'm currently working. As soon as I finish doing this, we're also gonna. We have adobo and adobo, adobo. and then pizza. <laughs> we can do that too. All right. So for we take about it's been a while since I don't do this too often. And you know, and what's sad is I've don't never been much of a I've never really been too much of a uh, barbecue person. So. Okay, this one too, I put here. Okay. And how about the sour cream? No, sour cream I'm going to put together with this. They are making it's meal. not there in, it's hot there in, well, no, not right no. now. The weather is good this time, the weather is good. Yeah, the weather, right now it's it's not hot, but definitely compared to, Places up north, it's warmer, but it's it's in the actually today, it's been kind of cold lately for us. All right, now I'm adding some of the bean dip, so that's like extra right there. Still have some left over, but all right. So now I'm gonna mix these two together. Hello. Oh, I don't know. Can't, is that is that even somebody's name? All right, hold on for a second. Let me see what this is. Um, whoever that is, hello. How are you doing? Okay. Hi. North Carolina. We used to live in North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, we used to. When Mercy first moved to America, she moved to 
I was living in North Carolina. I was in the Army, and I was stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. So we've been all around North Carolina, too. Yes, yes, I am doing good. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you for coming here. All right, so I got that stuff mixed together pretty good. And now, try to get it off the spoon. Now I'm going to take this stuff. I'm going to go put it on the oven to heat it up, all right? How about the cannoli? You huh? still need it? What? The, this one. Yeah, I'm going to include that in there, too. For what? I wish Ben, I don't know if Ben's awake or if he just wants to stay in his room, but I was going to ask him what kind he wants. I'm sure he'll figure it out. He'll make exactly what he wants. You can make Ben silk. Okay, from Pinehurst. What do you think about, maybe I should put my glasses on. <laughs> okay, let me see. A Brexit. Oh, you live in England. Um, well, I mean, it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult. Okay, so my take on Brexit is that, uh, you know, I guess it's good for England and it, you know, kind of keeps them from, keeps them safe from, other people just coming in and, and having the whole European Union completely control everything that they do. The only thing that might make it more difficult is for the people that want to visit England. Like Mercy, she's from the Philippines. And, you know, if, if we were to go to England, me from America, I had, I'd have no problem with my American passport. But with her Filipino passport, she'd have to, she'd have to get like an extra approval in order for it to even be in England. We found that out already. Um, the only other thing I can see say is that uh, by Brexit happening, the, it goes back to uh, just the English pound instead of using the euro, which the rest of the European Union would be using. So change in money might be a little bit more difficult, but uh, I mean, I cannot understand some of it for political purposes, too. So, I don't know. It's got its good and it's bad. But that's what I know about it. Okay. This so, one is not working. Why are you putting it here? This is not working. All right, so we're, we got this, this heating up. Okay. So. What's your idea on... Good nacho cheese. I keep trying to make my own, but always get creamy salsa. Always just get creamy salsa. Good nacho cheese. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just usually get what's in the store, but uh, I mean, not doing product placement or anything like that, but I usually just go with the simple stuff. I'm sure there's some way to make it that was even being extra special, but you know, for, with me right now, with this dip I'm making, I'm just like putting a whole bunch of stuff together and I've done it before. And it, to me, it tasted really good, especially when you include the sour cream, but uh, we're going to find out. Okay. So I got to wait for this stuff to be heated up. Then I'm going to add the other stuff to it. You're, oh, boy, thank you. Thank you for my, my take on England. Yeah. Last, was it last year? Hey, when did we go to the Philippines last? 2018? Yeah. Okay, so when, yeah, in 2018, we uh, we flew to the Philippines, but we actually had a, a whole day there. We had a stopover in London, and I, I had this whole thing planned out where I was going to go see to the, like, Lon all the London stuff, especially the rock and roll stuff. I was going to go, of course, to the Hard Rock Cafe. I wanted to see Big Ben. I wanted to see the London Bridges. I wanted to go to Abbey Road. And then there was like a tour I was going to go on that was like toured to all the rock places in London. And, but the problem was, and I thought we could just, you know, with her being with me, that she'd be allowed to go out into London too, but I've she wasn't, she wasn't able to. So I've been in London. she'd been to London before, just not me. So basically because she couldn't leave the airport this time, I, uh, I stayed with her in the airport and, you know, just I had fish and chips at the airport. <laughs> That's it. I want nacho cheese. I love it. You okay. know, 
Canadian citizen now needs to get travel authorization to visit Europe. Wow, okay. Don't Big Ben shut down for four years for, I don't know. Well, hopefully if I ever get a chance to go out there again, Big Ben will be open. It's easy to make nacho cheese. If you want to visit, it's suggested that you visit it when it can actually ring. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty good. Okay. So we got, this is the chip. I like the scoops better when I use chips because it's just easier to dip the chips into the thing. And I like the scoops. Okay. Okay, honey, what do we do with this? Mia, Carrie, cook for me, please. Okay. Okay, is it ready? Yeah. Is it warm enough? Okay, bring it over here. Now let's see if I can do this right. I might have to put this in a Tupperware. Okay. All right, so now, you see that? Got that, that nice and warm? Okay, let me see if I can do this in a way that makes sense. All right, cheese, sour cream, salsa. All right, so next I'm gonna put cheese in it. And we're gonna use the spoon that's already in the cheese, okay. So you saw how much was in there. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what? I'm gonna put the rest of this yeah. thing in there. Yeah. You gotta have dip that tastes like cheese. I don't know. Ah. Nice and cheesy. What do you think about the overheating? Think about what? What do you think about double double dipping? Double dipping. Oh, I mean, it. I guess it depends upon where you're at and how many other people want to eat the stuff too. I mean, if you're among family, <laughs> I'm sure it probably doesn't matter as much. But if you're at like a big party and you never know who's there, you know, it probably isn't the best idea. And it also depends upon if you can be assured that nobody has a lot of germs and stuff like that. Nasreen, how you doing? Good morning to you. It is 3.43 here. So we still have a whole hour before the Super Bowl even starts. So good thing I got time to prepare. Okay. So I got the nacho cheese in there. Mixing that in with the refried beans and the bean dip. Usually I only use one or the other, either the bean dip or refried beans, but today I decided to try to use both. So we'll put okay, this one so, in the fridge? Yeah, we can put that in the fridge now, I guess, unless somebody wants just that. All right, so here's what it looks like. Whoa, it almost spilled out. Here's, here's what it looks like when you have just the cheese mixed in with it. All right. Got to get it off the spoon. All right, so now, okay, I guess next I'm going to put the sour cream in there. Just doing my laundry while watching you guys. Hey, woo, all right. <laughs> and we had laundry going too. It was the, the bird, you saw, did you see when I first came on and the bird cage was there? That's right next to the laundry room, and our wa washer gets really loud. I feel sorry for the birds sometimes. That's why I try to keep that door closed. Okay, hello, Nasreen and Crossbones. I'm sitting on my couch while watching. <laughs> hey, all right. Okay, sour cream. We're not going to put too much sour cream in there, but just enough. All right, so we get a separate spoon for that. Okay, see it's got this much in it. I've never really made a recipe. I just kind of went with. Okay, so I used up, put that much sour cream in there. Can you see that? Okay, now I got to mix that up. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Say hello to each other. That's how this whole YouTube thing works. 
All right. Doesn't really change the color too much, makes it a little bit lighter, but uh, all right. Now we got that. There's our sour cream. And I don't think we need sour cream for anything else that we're gonna make today. So put the top back on this, put this back in the refrigerator. Here, yeah, open this one. <clears throat> okay. All right. Next, let's put some guacamole in there. I should have kept that spoon. Honey, don't put that one. I'm using all these spoons. Huh? I don't like this one. You don't like the guacamole? Did you try this guacamole or you just don't like guacamole? I don't like it. It's late. You're still awake. 2.45 a.m. Saudi Arabia time. Woo! Okay. All right, so Saudi Arabia time. Really, Saudi Arabia time? It's wait, did I read that right? Where it is? Twelve forty-five a.m. So that means that Saudi Arabia is nine hours ahead of us. Because where we are in San Antonio, Texas, it is three forty-six. All right, now here comes the next thing. I've made this, but. But since Mercy says she doesn't like the uh, guacamole, but you can handle the salsa, right? Put that in there. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make one, all right, it's just this and the salsa. Then I'm going to separate it. Enough. Okay. Then I'm going to separate that. See how, see that right there? Okay, then I guess what I can, all right, yeah, <laughs> I had to think about what I'm actually doing. All right, so we got all that stuff that I just showed you except for the guacamole in there. I'm going to take this, put it in this, and then that way it's separate from what I, the other thing I planned that she doesn't want to have, and then I'll make another one that includes this. If that makes sense. Hello, Tapey. Did I tip Tapey? Yeah, How do you? <laughs> am I saying it right? Tapey. T pay. T pain. T pay the explorer. All right. It's good to see another explorer out there. Yeah. All right. Okay. So here we go. You see? You see this dip tray that we got? All these different ones. All right. Now that we got that one, now I'm going to add some guacamole to it and probably put it in its own special bowl. Okay. And hopefully all of them actually taste good. Okay. Where's our little bowls that we have up here? Okay. I'm going to take this one and, all right. So here we go. Let's add some guacamole. Not too much, though. Some people like it. Some people can't stand the taste. Okay, so well, we're adding guacamole to this, or I am adding guacamole to this. And I'm trying to be a good cook. I'm not trying to. I'm trying not to lick the spoon until I'm done. Okay, that should be good enough. That extra special taste to it. Okay. And it looks like that with the green mixed in there. What do you think? Okay, let's play. Wait, oh my God, I can't see so far away from me. Okay, all right. Now we need to put it in this little bowl. And I'm done with this guacamole for now. Got it from, okay, anybody else from near around Texas? Who, who all here is from the United States or living in the United States right now? I don't know about the other states, but in Texas, the biggest grocery store we got is called HEB. And that's, except for going to the commissary on, on the post that we work at, uh, that's what we got. Okay, so we're done with this for now. 
They got this extra stuff. What do you think? Is that pretty good? All right. Put the stuff in the refrigerator. And oh, she's putting the extras in there so we can wash the pan. All right. See, there we go. Ooh. Isn't that pretty neat? Okay. Complete recipe. Yeah. Complete recipe I made up in my own head. Now you got to write it down if it actually, we have people, different people try it and see what they actually think. All right. So since we got this out of the way, we're going to cook some real food or at least the closest to real food that I'm going to make today. And where did you put the pizza? Why you make pizza? Yeah. Because they're bringing food. Are they bringing pizza? Oh, we got we got friends coming over. Right? Mercy says they're gonna bring food, but do we know what they're bringing? Okay, well maybe I don't have to make the pizza because our friends are coming over and they're I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Uh, what I should do is have her. Uh, Ask them about that. You want to send them a message, find out exactly what they're bringing? Okay, now we need. All right. No, not Let's now. Not, don't open it. Okay. Now because, uh, all right, we're, we're going we're gonna to keep, keep the chips fresh until it's time to eat. Okay, how much time we got before Super Bowl? About an hour. All right. Okay, so how many people here watch the Super Bowl? Or football at all? Box up. You know what? I actually, I actually don't mind Hawaiian pizza. I kind of like it. It's different. You know, it's, it doesn't go with everything, but it's okay with me. You know, it's, it's a unique taste, but it's not bad. Once, you know, I mean, I've tried so many different things all over the world, so Hawaiian pizza tastes all right to me. Not something I, not my first go-to for pizza or whatever, but. Uh, it works. Oh, all right, that's my that's my coffee. I know it's bad for me. Okay, so where are we at? Complete recipe. Maybe I should write that down. Okay, is there anything else we can make so they can watch us make stuff? I can't think. Oh, okay, so I think my, there we go. All right, so let's come take a look. Hey, Mercy, you wanna show us the adobo you were making? Yeah. Okay. Mer Mercy's going to show us her adobo. Okay, this is Mercy washing the dishes. See, I'm holding the laptop here. That's for you. She likes watching them individually instead of me growing up. How I learned how to wash dishes is you fill up the sink with the water and the soap, and then you wash that, and then you have your separate sink for rinsing. He just kind of does the soap on each individual dish. Anybody else do it like that? Hey, so if any of you are friends with us on here, and for some reason we we're not subscribed to you, or if you're not subscribed and we're not subscribed, if we're not subscribed to you and you want us to be subscribed to you, make sure you also send us a separate message so we can make sure we check later and, and do that. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go see what Mercy's working on here. All right. Here is our adobo with eggs. Adobo with eggs? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's different. What made you decide to do that? I would use a large bowl to store up water when washing hands. Use hot water to clean the dishes and the cold water to rinse it. Okay. Thank you, Crossbones. Wow, nice to hear from you, sir. You eat, oh yeah, so I love adobo. Now this is different adobo with eggs though. That's, I'm not used to that. We cooked this one one time in Marine North Carolina. We did? I don't yeah. remember it. Okay. <laughs> did I like it? Uh, of course, that face is the same. All right, so we just added 
You want to explain how you made your adobo? Everybody knows how to make adobo. <laughs> Maybe Filipinos know how to make adobo, but there's, I'm sure we've got plenty of non-Filipinos that are here that would like to know more about making different foods. Oh, Filipinos. I'm, I got something to show you that Mercy really likes that, um, that she's, we saw, we were watching some Filipino commercials the other day and this is something that came to mind that she grew up with as a kid that she still uses. All right. Nido! Filipinos, y'all like Nido? That reminds the mercy of her childhood. Y'all like Nido? Why am I asking more than once? I gotta wait for a response. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so Nido is something that we still get. And she told me a story about her son and uh, how, where'd she go? Let's go see where Mercy is, okay. All right, we'll, we'll find out. Oh, oh, laundry still, okay. Mercy doing laundry. Hi. There's the birds. Hey, birds. Okay, okay, so I was telling you a story. Okay, so Mercy's son used to, want like what, what was the story about him wanting milk that you added the needle to it and he didn't know hold on she closed the door she didn't. all right so tell us the story about your son and how he wanted like milk or something like that and you mixed the needle with it and he didn't know no because uh, when he's a kid he's uh he's so sensitive and his milk is a uh, sustain junior it's what? Sostagen. Sostagen? Yeah. Anybody else know what sostagen is? And then, um, and because that milk is so expensive, so I cheat on it. I mix the half of the sostagen and half of the needle. And <laughs> and then my son, he just recognized that the taste is different. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Kimmy right here is telling us that she doesn't know how to cook yummy adobo so explain to her please what? how to make adobo we all want to know how to make adobo and one of these days we're going to do a video on making um lumpia everybody seems to love lumpia and there's so many different types of lumpia okay mercy take it away <laughs> oh, and of course we got rice too you see gotta have rice if you're in a Filipino household. Okay, so anyway, tell us so about your adobo. what I did first, I, I boil the meat and then and wash it. I think I, I boil two times and then wash it and make it tender until when the meat is tender, I add the, the garlic, onion, uh, laurel and soy sauce and vinegar okay that's it and let and it then boil what? oh and then let it boil yeah and then we need to try a uh, taste it if it's good or if it's good for you or the taste is good so okay leave it uh simmer for how many minutes and this is the result now Ooh. and I boiled eggs, <laughs> hard boiled eggs, and I mix it with the adobo. That's that's a yeah. little dif different. What made you think about doing that today? We just had so many extra eggs. You wanted to use them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Every, everybody get that? I think maybe what might be helpful is maybe one of these days, instead of us doing this on live stream, we'll actually make an actual video, and that way we can include words you know, saying exactly, you know, the steps we take and what we put in and stuff like that. That might be helpful too, especially when we make the lumpia. That'll, so I think if we do a lumpia video, we'll actually have to make an actual video and then go, I'll go in and doctor it up and all that sort of thing. Okay. I sauteed the garlic and onion first before I put the meat for adobo. You do that? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes she does that. Okay, so 
Then we got the food, and she's making adobo. What else have we got? Okay, well, hold on. We're gonna come in here, and the main. Hi, there I am. Oh, oh no! You just watched me break the light. Look at that. See that? It just poked right through. Finally broke. So I'm gonna need a new one of these. Okay, so anyway, I was coming in here. All right, there's there we go. We got our living room. We got our TV there. Got our couch. And another chair right there. And some more chairs right there. And our and our fish tank, but that has nothing to do with watching the Super Bowl. Okay. Hey, let's look at our fish. Hey, Rena, Rena's here. Hi, Rena. How you doing? Wow, you've been talking. Hi. <laughs> I didn't even see you come in. Hello, Rena. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Okay. So we got some goldfish there. Shout out to everybody from Nasreen. Okay. Oh, yeah, we even got SpongeBob and Patrick down there. And uh, Dory from Finding Nemo. Or and finding dory okay what else we got some got some uh bottom feeders some algae eaters where's the beautiful fish oh we got this big fat goldfish thing over here what was that oh all right so the purpose for today rena's doing good that very good i'm so happy to hear all right all right so here we go so we got this special food and we also got this special dessert for today. We got this, this, it's a big cookie and it's been decorated for Super Bowl 54. You see that? And it's kind of got yellow and red, which is kind of like almost, all right, so we, okay. Let me explain our Super Bowl thing, okay? Y'all wanna hear this? All right, so I'm originally from Illinois. So my team, ever since I was a kid was the Chicago Bears and that that's not going to change. So these two teams, I'm like, I really never really cared too much about, but I don't hate them. I don't really hate any team, even the Packers. I don't hate the Packers, but so we got two teams that are in the Super Bowl. Okay. Yeah. The Kansas city chiefs. That was my son, Ben with the long hair. Not a girl. Okay. And then we got the San Francisco 49ers. Okay. Chiefs and 49ers. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> all right. So let me explain this. Okay. So we're I'm choosing a team. All right. When I go back and look at Super Bowl history, the Kansas City Chiefs have only been to the Super Bowl twice. And the last time they were at the Super Bowl was 50 years ago in 1970. And <clears throat> they won that one, but that was the last time they've been there. And, you know, I'm giving my age away, but I was actually born in 1970. So in that way, I kind of have that connection to them. You know, they won the Super Bowl the year I was born. Mercy was born in 1973. Her team that won was the Miami Dolphins then, but... I don't know if they're anywhere close to winning a Super Bowl anytime soon. All right. But then we also have the San Francisco 49ers. And, you know, I kind of like California. I've actually been to San Francisco. And uh, they've won a lot. And, in fact, uh, an interesting point right here is, uh, okay, you see this guy right here? He's all ready to watch the game. Okay, this is Ben. Ben was born in 1995. And that year, the San Francisco 49ers won the Super Bowl. But he's not going to root for the 49ers, and here's why. You want to tell him why? Okay, I'll tell him why because he doesn't feel like telling you why. I don't know if he just woke up, but he's like, I don't know. He's, he's an introvert, very badly introvert, right? See, I got him to shake his head. At least. Oh, okay, Mia, well, nice to have you here. Okay, so uh, back to back to this story. Okay, so Kansas City is who Ben's actually rooting for because he's, 
for like how many years did you live in for almost like about nine years of his life he was living in sycamore illinois you know that's around where i'm originally from but uh that's a long story but his high school one of his friends was a football player and he was actually a cool guy from what ben says and that person what's his name his name is also ben <laughs> so ben had a friend named ben who's a football player on his high school football team and that ben is on the kansas city chiefs and so that's why ben's going to support ben and the kansas city chiefs because of his friend so so that's who ben's rooting for is the kansas city chiefs and i'm kind of neutral i don't know i mean yeah okay yay my year and ben's friend kansas city chiefs but somebody's got to root for 49ers too so yes yeah, somebody's got to represent I mean, okay, we're, we're representing anyway, because we also have a 49ers thing that we bought for this thing. <sighs> okay. Uh, uh, that, does that make sense? Is that, is that a good explanation for all that? Okay. All right. Uh, so good to have you all here. Okay. So we got all this tree game show going on. Uh, Mercy's doing something with the food. Hold on. Okay, let's take a look back at the kitchen. All right, Mercy, what you doing? What are you doing? The what? What did, What is the dessert called that you got? Bilo Bilo. How many of you out there like Bilo Bilo? Bilo Bilo. Bilo Bilo. Bilo Bilo. Bilo Bilo. Huh? Bilo Bilo. Bilo. Bilo Bilo. No? I don't know why. Bilo Bilo. Bilo Bilo. Bilo Bilo. Below blue. Okay, so does anybody not know what below below is? Well, in that case, I'm gonna show you and maybe have her explain. Oh, it's not ready yet. Okay. All right. So I'm hungry now, though. I called Yeah. When is she coming? Just by the okay. All right. So what else? Okay. Anybody here gonna watch the Super Bowl also? Who's gonna win? Hey, you know what? Tepe, simplest creature on earth. Simplest creature on earth is here too. Hello, simplest creature on earth. Shout out to you. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Okay, so now I forgot what I, question I was gonna ask. Okay. I think I have one of these towels for the Chiefs coming too. So, just like last year, who who played last year? It was the uh, the Rams versus the uh, Patriots, right? Yeah, Rams versus Patriots. So we already had like a Patriot long sleeve Patriot shirt, and then I went and bought some Rams socks. So we, you know, I got to represent both teams. Hello, Tepe. Tepe, am I? <laughs> Am I really saying that right? Is that how you say it? Tepe? I hope I am. I don't want to get people's names wrong, you know. Mm 
What do you think? Is there anything else we can show people, teach them while we're here? What's she doing? All right, hold on, hold on. We're gonna go. Mercy's making some noise over here. Okay. Is it hard? It's like hard and crunchy or something. That, so this is the dessert below below that she's working on heating back up. I guess it, it looks like something you could eat. You no, know, not hot, but it's it's better to eat hot. Hmm. Mercy. Yeah. Is it better? Okay. Yay! All right, simplest creature on earth. Who are you rooting for? Huh? Simplest creature on earth said, we are also watching the Super Bowl. You have a team that you're rooting for, or are you just kind of watching the Super Bowl because it's the Super Bowl? You know, oh, I smell that smoke or whatever that is. All right. I'll tell you also another thing that's interesting about me is for the longest time, when I was a kid, I used to like watching football, but then somewhere along the lines, I, you know, for the longest time, the only football game, except unless I could find a Bears game to watch, was the Super Bowl. I would pretty much wouldn't watch anything else on a regular basis up until the big game. This year, yeah, not really in any team, so not these guys or the 49ers. Or, that's fine. Me either. Got different reasons to root for them, but. So this year, for some reason, I decided to actually start watching in the playoffs. So that was kind of different for me, but that was kind of neat. Glad I had the time to do it. And my son loves watching football, so it kind of helped that, you know, we watched stuff together. So that's cool. Still here doing some stuff. All right. Well, I'm glad you're still here. Thank you, Kimmy. <laughs> All right. All right. can, you see, can you see the TV there? What else can I do? Did you bang it on that stuff? I'll go see what she, why she's making all that noise. Oh, she just covered it up. Hi. <laughs> In a little bit, we have a friend coming over, and I guess maybe they can be on video too. Still got to get her to be Facebook friends with us again. <laughs> mm. You know, we actually do have two TVs. We could probably put the game on in both rooms if we wanted to. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, it's just that it's a big thing in the U.S., so my husband and I watch it while snacking at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's like it, I know a lot of people are having cookouts, but I don't know. I don't know why I don't. Just one of those things I've never picked up. My dad used to we used to have family cookouts all the time when we had the relatives over, but it's not something that well, nobody else is here. It'll be okay for now. All right. Oh. Isn't this cool? Read what this says. Our kitchen rules. If you empty it, fill it. If you dirty it, clean it. If you spill it, wipe it up. If you open it, close it. If you cook it, share it. <laughs> well, pretty good rules, huh? Okay. Anybody here ever been in New York? Anybody here ever been to, uh, I think this is in Wisconsin? What else we got? Kentucky? Wait, did the door open somewhere? Is somebody here? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll look at magnets later if you want to. Anybody interested, <laughs> curious about that?
Uh oh. Who's here? We're going to go see our friends. Okay. See what they brought us, okay? Hey, Merlina. It's our friend Merlina. Hey, how you doing? What is it? We're on, we're on live stream right now. Want to say hi to people? This is our friend Merlita. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah. And there's David. Okay, let me see. Bye. Hello, Merlita and her husband, David. They came to watch Super Bowl with us. <laughs> okay. Let me live. It's 30 minutes from New York. That's awesome. We are in San Antonio, Texas. That's where we're at right now. San Antonio, Texas. All right, let me go. Be right back. Anybody ever been to Bangkok? I spent one night in Bangkok, just like the song, except I didn't make the world my oyster. Okay, here we go. Here we got United States right there. Can you see it? All right. And in the United States, there's the state of Texas. And in the state of Texas, okay, up there, there's Dallas, Texas. Over there, there's Houston, Texas. Right here, that's San Antonio, Texas. And that's where we live right now. So Mercy's lived in two places in the United States. She's lived in North Carolina and now... San Antonio, Texas, for, since 2017. Wow. This August, actually, she will have been living here in Texas for three years. Isn't that pretty neat? Okay. What did you guys bring? Uh, okay. Yeah, KFC. I was thinking about making pizza, and I didn't know what you guys were gonna bring, but I guess we've probably got enough food that we yeah. don't need it. Yeah, probably. We got <laughs> chips great. and all types of. You dip. know, I was thinking of doing this myself today. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't because y'all did it. We yeah. Well, oh, huh? right. Okay. Yeah. Do this now tell you what. Thought, well, with with yeah. this dip. Okay. This dip right here yeah. is a combination of the cheese, yeah. the salsa, and, and everything. Cheese salsa, yeah. sour cream, wow. refried beans, oh and God. bean dip. That's what I was gonna make. That's, that's all right there. Oh, now, I'm serious. now this one right here yeah. also has the guacamole in it. What is that? Wow. You make that homemade? Yeah, I made it all myself. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, okay, the, we're gonna the eat. The stuff for it I bought, but the uh the dip I made. So now we bought. Um, we made this, and we just got went to KFC and got a bucket. Yeah. And we made all this chicken. Okay. We made, we made the then, chicken. Yeah, and yeah, everything else yeah. came with it. You wow, know. you did a good job of frying up that chicken. Yeah, it was really. Good. We worked all day. We worked yeah. all day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, okay. Well. I'm guessing nobody really wants to watch us eat, unless there's people that watch YouTube and watch, like, to, like to watch people eat. So I know. Wait, how long have I been on? Almost an hour. I guess that's good enough. All right. So 4:20, 4:20 p.m. Central Time. She did say five, five o'clock. Yeah. And then. Uh, well, she was basically calling just to find out what you guys were bringing because I was thinking about making that pizza. How's everybody doing? I know it almost feels like. All right. Hopefully everybody's good. Okay. Well, I hate to say it, but we got all this food right here and a TV and I, I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to watch a YouTube video of us, of us eating. Although some people might actually like that. But I don't know. But I got. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it 
an end to this, okay? All right, everybody. Bye. Happy Super Bowl Day. Bye, everybody. Thank you for coming, watching our YouTube. And uh, hope your team wins if you like watching this stuff. And, and hopefully you've got good stuff to eat, too. And if it's your time to go to sleep, like uh, in the Philippines right now. Well, no, Philippines right now, it's like morning time. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning. Almost 6.30 a.m. in the Philippines. But if you're in uh, Saudi Arabia, it's definitely bedtime to go to sleep. <laughs> uh huh. Where are you right now? Oh, I already answered that. Okay. Okay. So I'm at, we got to try. Wait, wait. Yep, I wanna... David, don't, don't show me my mouth eating. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. One more. One more thing. <laughs> Okay, so so everybody can get to the chips if they want to. You got to get a bowl for chips, and hopefully, I got a decent sized bowl. Uh, I'm making a mess. This is this is my Super Bowl. <laughs> It's a, it's a bowl and it's very strong. It's a Super Bowl. Okay. So anyway, so people don't have to keep reaching in and out of the bag. That should be enough since there's only five of us. That's not too loud for you, is it? Okay. There we go. Now we can use that to dip it. But before I go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my dip. All right, first I'm gonna try. Mm. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> you did a really good job on that dip. Honey, give me that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the one without the guacamole. I look good in that picture. Okay. Wow. Come here, honey. Honey, me and David. Hello. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to try the yeah. one. Wait, where am I going to put this? Oh. Probably put it right there. Okay, now this is the one that also included the guacamole that you saw me make earlier. Nice. It's done. Uh, <laughs> Very good. It's adobo, really good. Really good. Wow. Wow. Hey, try this one. Get get a chip and try this one. No, he didn't. No, it's not, he will not eat chips because it's hard. It's not good. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, there we go. Kaya nga inanuko ni inanuko ng ang adubo para makakain siya ng ano. What do you think? Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. All right. Woo! I made good chip. <laughs> Both kinds. I'm a, guacamole is kind of strong, but it's so how long has it been? I don't know where it's good. Wow. He never comes to eat when we want him to come eat most of the time. I don't know. Call him. I called him. I'll go knock on his door. Hey, get up, get dressed, come eat. <laughs> okay. We're almost, we're like one minute away for an hour. Ben, come on on, eat. Everybody's here. We got food. Ben. Ben. There we go. Wake up. Okay. So that's it. Everybody have a good Super Bowl. Everybody have good food, good eats, and we'll see y'all next time. And whoever wins tonight, I'll go ahead and post a video from that state that they're in. Oh, we got another Kansas City fan here. 49er fans are definitely underrepresented in this household. I mean, I, I don't care either way, but uh, I'm kind of, I could go with either team. Although, of course, like I said, Kansas City won. Their only Super Bowl they ever won was 50 years ago, the year I was born. So why not? Okay. Thank <sighs> you.
Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. Good day. Oh, chicken. Oh, wait. I forget. I'm about ready to touch that like a... Uh, and okay, ending the broadcast. Okay, smart. Wait, that's Merlita. Okay, mercy.